The following program was recorded at ARC Advisory Group's annual World Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome ARC Principal Consultant, Janice Abel. I'm here today with Eduardo Salas Gonzalez, who's the Operations IT Manager for British American Tobacco. Uh, Eduardo is responsible for the Operations IT and the MES projects in portfolio at British American Tobacco. So how are you today, Eduardo? Very good, Janice. Thank you for, for the invitation. Thank you for being here. What led you to evaluating an MES solution for your factory? What were some of the challenges that you faced? Well, over the past years, the complexity in manufacturing had been increasing, and we were still doing some critical production controls manually in paper. So it was very difficult, or there was no possible way to get the information about the, the production process. So uh, the risk was also high in terms of production mistakes. Uh, so production control is all about uh, automating processes, uh, collecting data, and acting upon it. And that's basically what an MES does. I mean, the MES operates at the short floor level, uh, collecting all the information from the, from the operational transactions. Uh, so uh, that was a perfect solution for, for our quality and production requirements. When you were looking at your MES solution, what were some of the factors that you considered? Well, we implemented a Presos FlexNet solution as our MES. And uh, one of the strengths uh, in a Presos FlexNet is that uh, it, is, it has a, a modular architecture, so that makes it easier to, to implement because you can use a, a phases approach. And uh, another, another important thing is that uh, FlexNet has this uh, process builder tool that allows you to modify and update your processes. And, and this is really important since the processes are not static, you know, uh, they are con continuously evolving and changing. So that was a critical factor that uh, helped us uh, to make the decision of, of the technology to use. So tell us about the implementation process. Could you tell us how that went? Well, the implementation took uh, uh, around a year and a half. Uh, we divided the implementation in two stages. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first stage, we implemented all the, the controls for the primary and secondary manufacturing processes and uh, some basic fun functionality for quality and statistical process control charts. In the second stage, we added new modules like maintenance and some other uh, more sophisticated controls like uh, an electronic brand chain, brand chain checklist uh, that the operator uh, does using a handheld device. So in the end, we cover all the scope uh, in terms of manufacturing and production. What are some of the benefits that you achieved uh, working with your Prezo solution? Well, now that FlexNet uh, controls all the manufacturing and quality processes, uh, we can have all visibility in, uh, of what's going on in the factory, all the production uh, controls and indicators. And uh, one important thing is that we have now more flexibility. This has added flexibility to our supply chain. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, faster response to change in the, in the demand uh, or in the market requirements. And uh, basically it's visibility and control that you get through the use of a tool like, like FlexNet for, for an MES solution. Uh, we also have achieved good efficiencies in terms of uh, manufacturing cost. And now for, for instance, Mexico is the, the factory in Mexico is the lowest cost uh, factory uh, in, within the Americas region. And that's really important uh, because of the role that the factory in Mexico is playing for the group. Did that help your supply chain? Yes, uh, yes, as I said, uh, this has added flexibility. We can respond uh, uh, faster to changes in demand, to new market requirements, innovation, uh, introduction in our brands. So this has added a lot of flexibility. I think that's the most important uh, value that uh, we have uh, added to our supply chain. Oh yes, you know, that's terrific. And what do you think the next steps are for you? Well, now that FlexNet has been approved as the standard for, for MES solutions in, the, uh, in BIT, we, we are trying to move towards having a single platform. We still have some legacies covering some specific requirements. So the idea is to migrate all these legacies to a single platform. Uh, which is the MES, and we will do that uh, in the next years. So that's uh, it, the, for the case of Mexico. 
in terms of the region and the, and the, and the, and the group, we are doing an evaluation of uh, the situation in each factory to see how the landscape is in terms of applications. And the idea is to create a single template that will be rolled out uh, to the factory using the same functionality, but covering the requirements of each uh, specific factory. So that will be a big challenge for, for the group in the next years. So would that be using the Apriso solution? Yes, that's the, that's the mandate from, from the global team. Thank you, Eduardo. We've learned a lot today, and we appreciate you telling us about what you're doing at British American Tobacco. Well, thank you, Janice. It was a pleasure. That was Eduardo Salas from British American Tobacco. Thank you for watching.